Welcome back to another session of Space Games and Space Beer with NPC. We're continuing our playthrough of Star Crawlers. Uh, you know, today has been a storied session of multiple attempts at playing different games that have unfortunately all failed me. It's been a little disappointing. You know, I really like getting the the lesser known, more obscure or indie space games because Oftentimes, that's where I feel that the true gems can be found. But unfortunately, you have to wade through a lot of garbage. And I'm not just, I'm not going to call out any specific game as garbage, because I feel that that is really only deserved when a game is literally pure trash, like Starpoint Gemini 3. But this series of games that I've been playing this evening as bad as they may be, I feel that there's some hope in them. So one of them I released on its own just to kind of demonstrate what I'm having to put up through. And that was Star's End. But the others I just <laughs> chucked up as mulligans, swept them away. We'll get back to them. They're all early access games. They've all got problems. I, I don't want to harp too heavily on the negative here. So we're going to pick up with Star Crawlers because Star Crawlers has been working for me. I feel like I'm getting in that, that zone and, and I can play it where I'm drinking. <laughs> and that's the whole point of this series. So, yes, continuing with Star Crawlers, which is a fantastic space dungeon crawler. And I'm now moving on to the Meteor Shower Blonde Ale from Ghostfish Brewing in Seattle. I'm not sure if I've done this one before. Ghostfish sounds familiar. Uh, if I have, well, uh, I didn't do my research tonight. I just grabbed something out of the fridge. Uh, and if I haven't, hopefully it's good. <sighs> Let's see. Yep, that's drinkable. That will serve my purpose today. All right, let's get back to where we were. Angry Pie. Yes. This session might go a bit longer than usual. I think I'm going to try and get a few missions in. I want to. I want to fast track a little bit here and get to the fun stuff. All right, where am I on inventory? I've done all my characters. I'm probably going to be ditching the Cyber Ninja. You know, just I don't feel like paying enough to keep her up to date. She has been very disappointing. Do I do I have a scroll set? I do left pad scroll wheel. There we go. All right, boom slang. I I love the depth of this world here like the creator went through a lot of detail to fill out these corporations and create this awesome space cyberpunk universe i wish very badly that the sequel to this game chimera was any good but i haven't been enjoying what i played of it so far i i hope it comes further because this game set a really high bar <laughs> for them to to have to, to beat if they wanted to make more games. Okay, I don't have anything worth looking at, so we're going to look for some work here. <sighs> okay, that one is currently considered easy. So, you know, let's go ahead and do that one. That's the next story mission. Let's move ahead with the story and see what happens. Angry pie. Oh, yep. Get the whole group. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, Taita. Uh, I'm, you know what? In fact, that's actually a good idea. Taita. That is unequipped with everything. Taita, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do I fire you? <laughs> how, how, where? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't remember how to fire people. Huh. 
Oh, there we go. Fire right there. Boom. Yeah. Sorry, Tita. Okay, I got my core. I don't really have a need for anybody else right now. If 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 people that you hired and left behind also leveled up, that would be more appealing. But this game gives you no reason to keep a stable of of other agents, you know, uh, other crawlers. And whenever you go to hire new crawlers, they're always based upon the level of your main character. So having a full roster of each of the character types, because you could only have one of each, is pointless. There's, there's no reason to do it. If ever you feel a need to bring on someone of another class, you come to the hiring board, hire them fresh, and then you can try it out. Never, never fill your roster because they'll just fall behind and you don't have to grind to bring them back up and there's no good reason to have to do that. Anyway, let's get back to this. Aurora Starlines wants intel on what happened to the Stella Marin. Since you uncovered the coordinates, they'd like you to retrieve a black box from the nav bay located on deck 105. Locate and return it intact. The ship is on lockdown. No one is allowed in or out under UFP council ruling. So the mission is strictly dark ops. This is going to give us a reputation with Aurora. We're going to be earning a lot of that over this course of this adventure. Suggested level three, beat that, considered easy, investigation, good rewards. Let's go for it. Got my crew, we'll launch. <sighs> this is a very drinkable beer, yeah. Welcome to the picturesque Stella Marin, I guess. This is deck 110. According to directions from Aurora, you want to head over to the commercial plaza and then an elevator ride down to 105 for the nearest nav chamber and a black box. Easy as pie. Pie, you say? Sounds simple enough. Got two calls waiting for you from Horizon and Workers United for a hush-hush mission. There's a lot of people up in our business. Secrets will be out. Nothing stays hidden for long. What do they want? Both are proposing a quick job while you're already aboard. Decent pay offer. So who do you want to talk to first? Not sure. Give me details. Horizon Robotics is one of the UFP fat cats. We're rich as Croesus too. Workers United is a civ group protecting the rights of greasers and such. Which do you want to talk to first? Workers United. Because I'm from, you know, I'm from the streets and uh, I can appreciate the working man. Luna's face is replaced by a dark screen. The voice that addresses you is nuanced and charismatic, like an old world politician. Apparently, she's not big on hollow chat. Hello there. I represent Workers United. We're a civilian group focused on protecting the rights of individuals. What can I do for Workers United? Before we continue, I feel I should make you aware of the fact your reputation precedes you. <laughs> nice. Word reached me from Bright Hall Colony that you completed delivery of vital medical supplies that Chimera was falsely claiming were unpaid for. On behalf of Bright Hall and oppress workers everywhere, thank you. Glad to have been able to help. Simply put, we require the black box data you've been hired to obtain. We want the raw data, not what's left over after Corp PR finishes their hatchet job. Forward us a copy before handing it over, and we'll repay the favor with a hundred credits. <sighs> a little, 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 yep, 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 yep. I'm playing a hacker with a with a code of honor, so I can do that. That is excellent news. The families of the missing colonists deserve the truth. With your help, maybe we can give it to them. I'll leave you to it. The rep cuts off the call. Matching in your second call. The hollow display darkens momentarily, then flickers back on, revealing a flash-looking corporate mouthpiece with an oily grin. You can almost taste the insincere winks about to be directed to your way. Hey there, partner. My employer has a little favor to ask. Aurora is determined to get their hands on that black box, but the intel really ought to be going to Horizon first, as the unofficial UFP leader, we have a responsibility to make sure all evidence is handled properly. That sounds like something you should take up with Aurora. Well, now, sometimes it's easier to come at these things sideways rather than start a confrontation. 
All we need is a copy of the data, just to make sure it's not tampered with. You can still take the box to Aurora afterward, and they'll be none the wiser. Sorry, I'm on a drive already. You'll have to take it up with Aurora. The Horizon Rep gives you a wide smile, but his gaze is fat and reptilian. Let's not be hasty, friend. Getting on the wrong side of Horizon Robotics is not the way for a new crawler to get started in this biz. You think on that while you're wandering around. When you get to that box, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. 300 credits for a simple transmission. Seems like your services are in demand today. Here's hoping that works out to my advantage. Human agendas. Conflicting goals may collide. More risk, more reward. Let's find it and get paid. All right. Back to... Back to the action. Get my flash. Where's... It's just my flashlight. <laughs> I forget this every freaking time. There we go. Anything here worth oh worth looking at? Nope. Big open room. Where's the monsters? This is usually where they come in. I don't see anything. Okay. Well, before we go that way, look around here. Trash. Lovely. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, no. That's just that. <laughs> Sometimes there's hidden stuff. It looks like I'm targeting the door through the wall. Security of these doors is top notch. I'll have a difficult time cracking it. Let's give it a shot. Thank you for your interest in the security door. Access is denied. Do not persist in attempts to open this door. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Well then. Uh, damn, don't see anything hidden to open it, so we'll see if there's anything. circle but no nope. oh what is that is that a thing no nope. nothing whole lot of fucking nothing nope, just decoration You emerge into the wide, inviting halls of a posh residential area. The upper decks clearly housed the affluent passengers. A waiter bot is idling nearby and it turns as you enter, waving an oddly cheering reading. Servant of some sort, perhaps it can aid us in understanding what transpired here. Glassy digs means classy booze. Shall we start this crawl off with an aperitif? Reckon I work better with buzz. <laughs> that is a, uh, a bad guy. Here we go. Uh, prototype. Gonna charge my laser. Murari. Warding blow. Where's Bolty? Yeah, uh, Bolty's next. Shh. 
shot blocker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was cute. Nice. Oh, that was a mess. Hey. Oh, that didn't kill him. Hmm. That did. <laughs> Suck it. The team stares in stunned silence at the downed bot. Uncharacteristic aggression is common domestic. This bodes ill. Not an aggressor. Behavior does not compute. Data corruption. Oh, hold on. Behavior does not compute. Data. Cor so the prototype always speaks in haikus. I love it. Even even its non-haiku structured sentences are actually five seven five haikus. You love chatting with me, don't you? What's up? Combat mode engaged with a domestic robot. Need increased credits. This was not in the mission brief. Maybe we can wrangle a few extra creds from Aurora. Helping Doc to get on the wire to Aurora. I wouldn't mind if they tossed a little extra hazard pay our way. Is it pretty hazardous there behind your hollow display? Depends on your definition of a hazard. Your impending demise is my impending unemployment. Just looking out for what's best for the team. Okay. I forget which character is which. Prototype. Bear. Ah, Mareri is the force psyker. And bear is the bear. Got it. <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie the effing bear. If you've never seen Wizard People, dear reader, you owe it to yourself to check it out. Yeah, I recall there not being much in the way of random situational floor loot on this mission. Yeah, not really much going on in this place of interest to random scavenging. Here we go. A figure emerges clumsily from behind a bulkhead, waving his hands to get your attention. His suit logos indicate he works for W. Yutaki. Don't shoot. I'm not armed. I'm glad you're not one of those psychopath psychotic waiter bots. Replace your meat suit. Upgrade to immortal steel. Sooner, the better. Uh, right. Listen, I'm in a real bind, and uh, you look capable. Maybe you can help me out. There's these credits in it for you. The ship is supposed to be on lockdown. What are you doing here? Respectfully, what are you doing here? We both know the corpse played by their own rules. I'm just trying to capitalize on their interests, same as you. Plus... When the, bot, when the blue Yutagi says jump, you don't ask why. So about these credits? Right. Uh, locate an ex-employee's hollow top. They have intel that was recruiting for work at United and when they get a copy of his recruitment files, he glances around nervously. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drinking. I expected an empty ship, but I've been hiding from bots since I walked in. I'm not geared for this, but if you can locate the files and wire me a copy, I'll pay 50 credits for each one you send. Angry pie. <laughs> yeah, damn, okay. I'm not risking getting to Blue Yutagi because the guy's residence should be in this wing. His name's Herman Dorfel. Here's a wire address. Send any workers united files you find, and I'll pay 100 credits per file. Either way, I'm out of this hellhole right now. Yep. I'm probably going to take him up on that offer because, as much as I like Common Man, I also like money. And I feel that, you know, I'm not really working for them. Oh. So I'm not really totally betraying them. Know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Mm, yep. Here we go. Med kit.
almost expect there to be three seashells up in there. Oh, wait, what's this? What, nothing. I'm not going to go that way just yet. Uh, nope. Keep looking through these rooms. Oh, hey, you got a bad guy. All right, waiter bot. Nothing, nothing. Uh, what? Space turkey foot? Sure, just because it's weird. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, credits. Should have saw that coming. Heard that. And more low. And let's straight. Oh, bonk. I should have done a different one. Whatever. It's done. Just yet. I'm gonna finish this place up. Oh, hey. Another bad guy. Oh, and it's got minions. Helper bot. Well.
health up. Take that. Thank you. sure what that does for anything but whatever Political musing and anti corp rhetoric. Oh, eh, I guess it was one or the other. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, center them both. Why not? Get that one. Send them to workers first. Send it to them second. Send it to workers first. Send it to them second. And there we go. Oh, that one's done. Ooh, romantic poetry. Yeah. Pickles. Oh. Okay, fifty percent, fifty six percent explored. Is the superior view, I must say. Oh, nice. Yeah, I will take that. Not much. This is one of the Yes, sir. <laughs> One of the least exciting. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Missions, I guess. Not really much going on here. All right, charge arm cannon and warding blow and rocket elbow and do it again. Hey. Virus. Please do. Oh, pickles. There we go. I guess pickles would have been the password. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. Do 
do do do do do uh, this stage this one was a pain in the butt security boss and cameras are patrolling the area between you and the elevator but carefully we can avoid them I hate these that one <laughs> oh well I remember correctly the security bots are going to keep coming I think there's a, like a generator for them or something uh, so well I think if I keep doing this another one will come or I could be wrong huh well maybe I'm wrong anyway I'm actually going to pause just a moment because beer is now running through me and I have to use the facilities back in a moment. We're back. Let's. Okay, that's the direction that it goes. off ah here we can Turn that one off that one just goes back and forth right I got armor here we go Ooh. I think the only person that uses the pistol is my hacker Better. 
Use heavy armor. Oh, crappy. Crappy. All right. They are being generated. Huh. Where the hell am I trying to go? Somewhere over here, probably. Yeah, uh, both is full. No! Oh, malfunction level went up. Oh, at least it worked, though. So that that's good enough. That's where I need to go. Yeah. Right. Let's do a strafe run. Let's stun this asshole. drags it out. Ooh. Oh, no. I didn't know I could do that. Or maybe I didn't. I just forgot. Thank you. 
so overloaded with viruses that it's just going to kill itself. Field catalyzers aren't aligned, they're going to malfunction. You keep locking down the damn nav bay and the navigators are sick of it. Keep doing it and your next shore leave will be out the nearest airlock. Field, oh, here we go. Riggs always calling Jablonski an idiot. Hey, nobody calls Jablonski no idiot. Jablonski has the last laugh found those medbots wandering around down here where they ain't supposed to be again. Locked him in storage. Let us surprise Riggs next time he sneaks off for another nap. Huh, medbots in storage. Eh, well. Oh, there we go. unlocked unlock catalyzer control well oh, that's where I came from Puzzle time. Oh, I see. That's right. Okay. Flush them all down. Hmm. 
That one moves that one. There we go. Well, that's Nav Bay. Let's go do whatever is happening in storage. Yeah. <laughs> Nurse Ratchet, no. Uh, the dock bot. Yeah, we're gonna take care of the dock bot first. They summon. Let's stun that one. Ratchet here. Oh. Nice. Viruses are OP. Get in there. Okay. Maybe there's a thing I missed. now. 
Ooh, trash. Hey, medkit. Thank you. some way to get back in there what is what's going on with that room did I miss something I don't think I missed anything in here oh hey I did what do you know all right. Well, that's that's cool. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well. Well. Well, that's pretty bitchin'. Note to self. Be on the lookout for abnormal panels. That's a normal one. go through some vents okay, I'm guessing that would be in the next area all right oh, I can't get in there Hopefully all will be made clear soon, unless that's a thing. Nope. Nope. I think is a boss fight, maybe. Greetings, Aurora Starliners employee. Would you like to initiate transmission of black box data from the Stella Marin to an authorized third party? Please note that unauthorized transmission of black box data is grounds for immediate termination and punishable by airlock dismissal. As stated in your NDA, would you like to proceed? Decision time. You know, hmm, I'm going to accept the job I was paid for. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. Ah, fucking boss fight. Do, 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 do. One down. Bolt, yeah. Oh, bolt is fine. in there. said 
<laughs> Viruses, OP. So OP. Ooh, shotgun. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what happens when you do that. There's no sense in taking your life as well. Flee this place. <laughs> okay. Heading for the exit. Pizza and ice cream. Hell yeah. Return the sticks. Hell oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Bonus wired information. Bonus reset the catalyzer to unlock the nav bay. All right. Well, let's see what kind of messages we got. Uh, yeah. Oh, great. Well, they're happy I did something for them. Oh, that's that blue. And... We were disappointed in your recent failure. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh, fuck off. How am I looking? <laughs> they like me still. Oh, that's good. Well, that was an interesting job, and that took a much longer amount of time than I was thinking it was. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. This has been uh, at least an hour long session. Uh, I've enjoyed it. We're going to get back to doing some side missions before we move on to the main story again. Again, you have been watching Space Games and Space Beer with NPC. This is Starcrawlers, and I've been drinking the Meteor Shower Blonde Ale from Ghostfish Brewing Company in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for watching.